Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS VivoBook X505 Z model and in this video I'm gonna go over take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can repaint clean up the whole motherboard and the fan system and everything else. If yours is running a little bit hot and you just want to do a repaint and clean it up this video is for you. So let's get it straight into it. Just remember by doing this service, you're not going to modify anything in the system or any configuration is going to be lost. But with all that said, let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down and I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using for this service. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as these have one of the best screwdrivers out there. And these are hardened steel. You're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening uh, covers and cases. You will need a pair of those straight tweezers. That's handy to have. Very importantly, alcohol. Isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 99% plus, not a 95 or not a 70%. People keep asking me in a comment if they can use a 70 or 90%. Has to be a 99% if you don't want to damage your components. You need a workshop towel. Uh, really, one thing is very important, what kind of towel you're gonna to use or to clean up the CPU. These are, uh, fiber cloth are not recommended because they can just uh, get latched, latched into the capacitors and they can pull the capacitors. This ones, once you put alcohol in here, it can rip but it will not damage the capacitor. So one sheet of the workshop towel and your favorite thermal paste. I would recommend you guys for this brand use an Arctic MX4, but if you want to go over the board and overkill, go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. They're really good too, but they're overkilled for this model. All right, with all this on hand, let's get it started. First thing first, down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna remove all the screws and we're gonna keep them apart. So starting from one corner, go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All these screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them, just remove them. Even the one in the middle. All right, once you remove all the screws, now we're gonna remove the palm rest. To remove the palm rest, you wanna open up the laptop about 90 degree, or more if you want, if you have a space. Now, what are we gonna do in here? Let me see if it's gonna focus. There we go. You wanna stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. About one or two centimeters in, and we wanna flip it, twist it inward like this. So pretty much I'm twisting it that way. So do this all around in the front and the side. You want to work yourself every one or two seconds. You want to hear those big clicks clipping. Those are the sounds that you want to hear. You're not breaking anything, you're just releasing the clips. You want to run your guitar pick. I'm sticking about one or two millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick inside the board. Just about a tip of it. And do the left and the right. Once you did the left and right, now you want to see this palm rest coming up, so you want to lift it up. Let me see if I didn't miss any screws, no? All right, once we lift it up, you're going to wiggle it around on the back, so you can release the back end. Now, down here we're going to see this flex cable right in here. You need to release this flex cable, so what you want to do, you want to put your fingers at the back of this flex cable, and you wanna lift it up 90 degree. And then you can slide out the flex cable. Same thing for the trackpad. On the back, lift up 90 degree, the lock, and pull it out. Now you can just lift up the power. There we go. That's the flex cable that you need to slide in. And those clips that I was talking about are here at the back. I'm going to lock them down. To unlock them, you put your finger at the back, lift it up 90 degree, the small one too, tiny one. To put it back in, you have to make sure you're in an 
in open position and you want to slide the flex cable in and once they all the way slide and you want to lock it down this laptop has a fan right here i see a heat pipe going somewhere over here it's probably going right over here there's a cpu here so this one doesn't have a gpu otherwise it has a screw hole right there so first thing first you want to remove the battery to remove the battery i don't see the battery cables anywhere over here there's a battery connector right there so you're going to remove one one screw right in here I think it's only one screw that holds the battery. So it's remove that tiny screw and let me see, there's a clip in here. So we're gonna lift up the battery. The clips on the side, you wanna push these clips to the back, pull them backward, and then you can release them. So there's a side clip in here. So as long as you screw this one and you pull this one up, you can lift it up. So there's a the connector right there. So put the battery to one side. We need to uh, disconnect the Wi-Fi board, so remove the screw for it. Put it to one side. We'll lift it up 45 degree a little bit. Uh, with the cables, we can detach the cables, lift them upward, and leave it like that. Once we lift up the motherboard, the, the whole board is gonna go with it. For the audio cable, the speakers, it says SPK speakers. You don't wanna pull the cables, you wanna use your fingernails on the side of the jack and pull it back or use a tweezers on the side here. And then you wanna wiggle it around and it will release it. We need to remove this bridge between the motherboard and the IO. So lift up the lock 90 degree, lift up this lock 90 degree, and you can just remove it. You need to remove the mechanical hard drive. There's a caddy, one, two, two screw that holds the caddy on this side. So remove the two screws for the caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. Remove up this tape over, and there's another screw hidden right underneath, so remove this one too. Now we're gonna slide the hard drive towards the screen, and then we're gonna lift it up. Work it around, make sure you don't lift up too. Be careful with this point, you wanna bend it, so lift up the back and bring it upward. So there's your hard drive. Now, we need to remove the motherboard. To remove the motherboard, we need to remove a few screws. Before we do that, let's go ahead and remove the flex cable for the LCD, lift up the tape. Don't pull the cables or the tape. You need to pull the corners, like the same thing with the speakers. This one is a little more tinier. On the sides, you need to pull these corners, and the flex cable slides that way. All right, now let's go ahead and remove the screws. One screw is in the middle. Two screws on the left side. There we go. Once we remove these ones, pretty much we should be able to lift it up. There's a little clip here. Loosen up this clip. You need to pull it back and the motherboard will come out pretty easy. Close the screen a little bit so it doesn't go back. Then we're going to flip it over and there we have it. So I'm going to close up the screen so I can work on top here. So I'm going to put a workshop towel. And we can see the fan and it is dusty. It's plugged up a little bit. So what are we going to do? We're going to remove the fan. Same thing with the other speakers. Remove the connector. Remove the screw on the fan right there and remove the four screws on the bracket on the, in the CPU. Now, simply we're gonna lift it up from here. We're now gonna lift it up from here, closer to the heat CPU, and we're gonna twist it and lift it up at the same time. And there we have it. We have the old thermal paste, and we have the whole fan system. Now, you can you take it outside, use a toothbrush, old or new toothbrush, and brush it off and blow some air through here. I'm gonna clean this part and I'll be back right away. All right, now that we cleaned it up, we're gonna repaste. So we're gonna grab another workshop towel, a sheet. We're gonna grab a corner. We're gonna soak it in an alcohol. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna wipe the heat sink. It is pretty dried up, so it's kind of rock solid. So you need to scrub it. 
do a few passes, more alcohol, and rub, 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 and then you're gonna have it removed. Now, you can use the same one to remove the excess. We're gonna remove the excess of the thermal paste on the CPU. Just remember a tip, you see how the workshop towel, it just goes away, just peels off before it damages the capacitors. This is what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna put more alcohol in here and do more wiping. As long as you clean up the dye in your fine, you don't need to go ahead and clean up the whole PCB between the capacitors. You don't need to. It won't increase any performance or do anything like that. But if you really want to clean it up, you can grab a spatula, a plastic one or a wood one, gently go in between them and scrub it. Make sure you don't force the capacitor. Just go let the pressure of the tool do the job. On this side, I know that there is nothing, so I'm just going to screw it up. You can do this gently with no problem. There we go. Now you can shake it off. And there we have it. You can go ahead and do a, another wipe on top. And there we have it. Nice and clean. You're gonna grab out thermal paste. You're gonna put a one line on the top. Don't worry about how big, how it's, you can do, just put it like that. People are like, how much do I put? Just reasonable amount, that's fine. You don't have to kill yourself thinking about how much you need to put. It's not conductive or anything like that. So you're fine. I over push this one out. Okay. Let's put that one. Now we have that one done. We're gonna grab the heat sink. You're gonna place it straight over. Once you put it over, do not remove it or lift it up. You wanna cross it, screw the screws in, in here, or screw a little bit, and screw across it on the other side. So that way the thermal paste evenly goes all around the CPU, all over the CPU, hopefully not around it. You wanna put a single screw for the fan. Right there. And always make sure you put the connector right into it. There we go. Okay, now we are ready to install everything back together. So we're gonna put it to one side and we are gonna open up the laptop. You wanna grab the motherboard. You're gonna bring it back from this side down, put the I.O. side down, this side, and set it down. Make sure here you wanna press in here, so it clicks in, but before that, make sure all the USB port, everything is in place. There we go. And push down the speaker cables, right there. You can grab the Wi-Fi screw and screw it down. Now the Wi-Fi cables, you wanna hold it on top of the jack and then snap it in. Just push down with your fingers and there you go. Grab the flex cable for the screen. You wanna slide it in from the back underneath the jack. Make sure it goes in straight. All the way in, nice. It makes a tiny click. Grab the I.O. port from here, open up the lock. Make sure the way it says I.O. that way, motherboard this way. So stick it right there, lock it down, and put it right under the jack, and lock it down. A single screw for the motherboard. No, there are actually three of them. That one now wasn't. Three screws, two on the side by the RJ45. And one was right by the fan here. There we go. Once you have that one in there, then you want to grab the hard drive. You want to put an offset position inside here. And then you want to slide it towards yourself. And make sure the jack goes in. Put the three screws for the hard drive carry.
we are almost done. We're gonna grab the battery. We're gonna put this side the other way around. The other way around. Make sure the orientation. Put this side down. Once you put the upside down, you wanna bring it down. Push it down, this corner. Push the jack that way and push it down and it's snuggled in the place. And put a single screw right beside it on top. There we go. And we are almost done. Now the last part down here would be to grab the palm rest, put it right here, bring it down in 45 degree angle, make sure the locks are opened up, upward, both of them. I'll put this one first. I'm gonna slide it right underneath. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put the flex cable for the keyboard, slide it all the way in evenly and lock it down and bring it down gently and you want to pinch the top and the bottom cover and you want to hear this nice cracking sound, push the back side that way, all of them, pinch the bottom and top cover. And there we go on the back. Once you're done with that one, that's it. Now you're gonna flip it upside down and you're gonna put the bottom screws all over the place. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up this screw.